Most business owners or CEOs have a personal assistant that they cannot live without. It's a role that allows them to do, well, CEO stuff. But what if you can't afford a personal assistant right now? Or maybe you need your assistant to focus on higher level tasks. Well, now we may have a solution. Here are nine AI tools that most people aren't even talking about yet that are better than a personal assistant. And by the way, if you were to add up the costs of the AI tools I'm about to share with you, it's like $160 per month. And that's with paying paying the pro version for two of the tools I'm about to share with you. $160 a month is a heck of a lot cheaper than a salary for a personal assistant. Over the years of running my online business, I've definitely been guilty of wishing my assistant would just read my mind. Like when something wasn't done according to what I had hoped for, I assumed they just knew what I wanted and it was super frustrating, but they can't read my mind, which is why this first tool called Augment is so cool. Augment is like having a general AI personal assistant right in your pocket. You can delegate all sorts of tasks to it. Things like scheduling meetings, summarizing content, booking travel, creating lists for you. It adapts to your workflow across all the apps that you use and really allows you to be the most productive version of yourself. It's scary how capable this AI tool is becoming as it's based on your own personal content, preferences, history. So if you forget something, for example, and you ask it a question that only you would know the answer to, it will know the answer to it. Now, one limitation with Augment, and I totally get it, but it does not yet work with the Arc browser, which I am using 100% of the time. I absolutely love the Arc browser. Okay. Okay, so for tool number two, let's talk about email management, which is a very common task that a personal assistant might take care of for you. Because let's face it, managing your email inbox is the bane of most people's existence, including mine. I used to spend hours sorting through and trying to organize my overflowing inbox, which was a huge time suck and it keeps us away from spending our time on the highest leverage activities, right? And managing email for me comes down to two parts. One, organizing and prioritizing the emails in your inbox, sorting through it, and two, actually responding to those higher priority emails. So I've got two tools for you here that tackle both of those things. And the first one is SaneBox. SaneBox uses AI to automatically sort your inbox and it prioritizes the highest priority emails for you and then sorts the rest of the emails. And you can train it on the types of emails that matter most to you. Now, when I've used it, I'll be honest with you, I didn't really need to train it a whole lot. It's really good right out of the box, if you will. But as you go along and you're getting different types of emails, you can train it and it works really, really well. This is a huge time saver. Now, SaneBox likes to say on their website, if you know how to use email folders, then you will know how to use SaneBox. So even though SaneBox is super cheap, if you've got your Gmail or Outlook or what have you super dialed in with filters and rules and so forth, you wouldn't really need SaneBox. But if you don't have those types of things super dialed in, like let's face it, most of us, and you just want an inbox assistant to just take care of it for you, SaneBox will do that for you really, really well. And it's very inexpensive. So now that you have these emails prioritized, it can take a lot of time to respond to those emails. And I'll be honest with you, I tend to leave a lot of emails in my inbox that need to be responded to. I think my brain just thinks that it's gonna take a lot of time to respond to the emails. Well, that's exactly where this next tool comes in. It's called Harpa AI. I think that out of the entire list of tools that I'm sharing with you here today, Harpa is probably my favorite tool and the one I'm most excited about. Harpa and the last one I'll share with you. Now, Harpa is a Chrome extension and yes, I can get it in Arc, the browser I use all the time. And it's a super helpful AI assistant. Among a bunch of other things that Harpa can do for you, Harpa can reply to emails for you. When you're in your inbox with Harpa, it takes literally two clicks 
you get to choose the sentiment of the email and kind of how you want to respond and it will write the response for you. You can teach it your writing style, your tone of voice, which LLM you want to use, whether it's like ChatGPT4 or Claude 3. I have been loving Harpa. Now let's talk about calendar management, which is another super important task that a personal assistant usually does. So for me, one thing that I've really been working on is trying to time block my most important tasks that I need to get done each day around when my energy and focus is the highest. And for me, that's in the mornings. And my calendar has always been out of control and dealing with the calendar totally sucks the energy right out of me. And I've used Google Calendar for years and it's great, but it's, let's face it, it's, it's a manual process, right? It doesn't really have any, at least at the time recording this video, any sort of scheduling logic built into it. And with that prioritizing and time blocking, another thing that I used to hate doing is trying to coordinate meetings with other people across different time zones. You know, all the back and forth emails for trying to find a time that works for everybody, huge headache. Well, this next tool called Motion solves all of this. What Motion does is it takes all of your projects and tasks, prioritizes them, time blocks them for you on your calendar, and then dynamically optimizes your schedule throughout your day all automatically. And no more back and forth trying to find a time that works for everybody. Motion handles all of this in the background so you know exactly what you're gonna be working on and when you're gonna be working on it. You get to set all the parameters of your schedule, what you want your schedule to look like when you have the highest energy, the most focus during the day, you set those parameters and then motion takes care of everything else. Now, how about project management? I do not like details. I hate the details. But when it comes to managing projects and tasks, there's certainly a lot of details. And this is where a personal assistant would very likely come in and start managing all the different aspects of your project and ensuring that everything is getting done. Well, rather than having a person do all of the project wrangling of different projects and tasks in your business, Motion can do all of this for you. It can automate the planning of most of your projects. It can prioritize your tasks and also work within your team if you're working with a team. It can add projects and tasks to your team's calendars in a prioritized way. It's like having a project coordinator keeping everything running smoothly. Now, if you're using Motion with a large team, it can get fairly expensive. So just be aware of that. But if it's just you or you've got a really small team, it's pretty affordable. For the fifth tool, let's talk about customer service. Customer support and service can be a major time suck for many businesses, but it's super important, right? And this is another area where personal assistants can be spending a lot of their time. So with this AI-based customer service tool, it can handle a huge percentage of common customer questions that you might be getting. And of course, escalating to an actual person on your team when needed, but a lot of this can be automated. And this tool is called Zendesk. Now, I understand you have very likely heard of Zendesk before. I think it is the best AI-based customer service tool out there. Zendesk can really free up your personal assistant's time so they can be focusing on higher level issues and really be keeping your customers happy with quick responses to their questions. Now with Zendesk, and I also realize that with most customer service tools these days, you can do this, but you can create a customer facing chatbot that is trained specifically on a knowledge base that you create. But I think the really cool aspect of that is if customers are asking questions that are not covered in your knowledge base, Zendesk has an AI that will suggest to you pieces of content or answers that needed to be added to your knowledge base so that it will fill in the gaps and be able to answer similar questions in the future. Now for this next tool, as an online business or the CEO of your business, you know that you need to stay informed. 
being on top of the latest trends, the latest news, but who has the time to read every article or report out there? Your personal assistant is very likely spending a bit of their time during the day doing research and summarizing for you. That's where perplexity comes in as it can do all of these things for you in a matter of seconds. Now, I've already done a whole video about perplexity, and if you haven't watched it, you can watch it right here. Perplexity is an AI-based search tool that can really quickly research and synthesize any information that you want to know about. It's like having your own personal research assistant on speed dial, keeping you up to speed on anything that you wanna know. So make sure to watch that perplexity video after this one if you have not already. Now for these next two tools, so I have this YouTube channel. I have my AIFI newsletter, which you can sign up below this video here, by the way. And I used to have my podcast, which is called the Art of Online Business Podcast, which I sold in 2023. And when you have these pillar pieces of content, if you will, in your business, an awesome way to create leverage is to repurpose this content, which can be super time consuming if you're doing it yourself or if your personal assistant's doing it, it's gonna be really time consuming for them. And this is where AI tools like Claude 3 and Ideogram.ai can be awesome. With Claude 3, as I'm recording this video, it is hands down the best AI tool for human-like content, for writing content that actually sounds like a human being. It's amazing. So you can use Claude 3 to repurpose that pillar content, if you will, that you're creating in your business. You can upload your brand guidelines, your writing style, your tone of voice, et cetera. And it does an amazing job of repurposing that main piece of content into whatever content that you wanna create through your specific voice. And it sounds and writes really, really well. And then with ideogram.ai, this is my favorite AI generating tool, the real the accuracy, just the beauty of the images that it creates, the, the logos, if you want logos created, any kind of images that you want created in your business, I highly recommend Ideogram. And get this, it even spells words correctly, imagine that, in your images. It's the only tool that I've literally come across yet that will actually spell words in the images that the AI is generating. Now, in order to get the best writing from Claude, I do recommend that you pay for the pro version. It's another $20 a month subscription, so there is that. And then with Ideogram, although it's free, you are limited to a certain number of images that you can create each day. So when you hit that number, if you wanna keep creating, if you wanna do it for free, you gotta wait till the next day, or you can pay, I don't remember what it is, their nominal monthly fee. And now for the last tool, it is a tool that I recently started using. It is a super impressive overall AI assistant. Now for some business owners, your personal assistant is your confidant, right? Somebody that you ask questions to or kind of talk to about whatever's on your mind. This AI tool, which is called Pi, acts exactly like that for you. It's like your friendly and very empathetic personal assistant right in your pocket or on your desktop. You can brainstorm ideas with it. You can get travel recommendations. You can ask for news updates, get gift ideas from it. You can vent to it. You can ask it questions. It can be your therapist if you want it to. It's really your total business and personal assistant. And by the way, they've raised like a billion dollars literally in funding and they're backed by massive companies like NVIDIA, Microsoft, and a whole bunch of other huge companies. It is a very freaking cool AI assistant tool. It's now a desktop app and also you can text with it via iMessage. Definitely check it out. So it's safe to say that the age of the AI assistant is here and these tools I've just shared with you, frankly, are just the beginning. So whether you cannot afford a personal assistant and you're gonna use these tools or even if you have a human assistant, I bet they'd appreciate an AI partner that they could go to to supercharge their productivity and make their job 
way faster and easier. All the links, by the way, to all the tools that I mentioned are below the video here. If you enjoyed this video, you found it helpful, please hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel. Or if you've got tools that you're really liking that I didn't mention today, also leave them in the comments below. Happy delegating to your new AI assistants and I will see you in the next video.